In this video, we're going to look at how to copy a field set and um, make some changes to it. Specifically, we're going to I'm going to show you how to add the Aboriginal Ancestry uh, field into your field sets. I'm in the, the training database, so this is all scrambled data, no real students in here. I'm in the School View Student Top tab. What I want to do is, this is, I've, this is the default field set I can check. Make sure you're on the default. Um, so this is my default field set. I like this field set. I'm going to take a few things out. I'm going to add in the Aboriginal Ancestry. Maybe we could add in the usual names as well. It would be helpful for me to make a field set. All users uh, with this kind of view should be able to make a custom field set. So to do that, you click on the field set icon right here. Go to Manage Field Sets. This will open a pop-up window. It shows you all the different field sets that you have access to. It says Enterprise because it belongs to the Enterprise. You can't edit this one, but you can make a copy of it, which is great. So I'm going to click on it and then hit Copy. It says, what do you want to call this one? I'm just going to leave it as default, and I'm going to add in Ab Ancestry. You can put your initials on there. You can put a number. You can put an exclamation mark. Whatever you want to do to identify it as one that's yours that you might use quite often. There is an owner type. You can change this to the school level, so other people within the school would have access to this field set as well. I'd suggest you do that once you've tested out your field set, you can go back and edit it and change the, the owner type so you can save it for other people, so not everybody has to do this. I'm going to leave it as user for now. Hit save. This will put it into my list down at the bottom. If you want to, you can move this up to the top. If you move it up to the very top, it becomes your default. And the next time you log in and come to this view, it would show that it's one. It's 12 o'clock. That's 12 o'clock. Um, okay, now I'm going to click and edit this one because it belongs to me. And from here, I've got my fields on the right-hand side that are showing. This, are, this is the fields that show up along the top and in the order. The left-hand side is the fields and the tables I can draw from. There's a lot of information you can draw from to put into your field sets. Um, it's organized how the system thinks you might use this. You can hit the sort A to Z, makes it a little easier to find. And when you do that, the first one is Aboriginal, Aboriginal Ancestry. I'm going to add that to the right hand side with the Add button. I've selected it, Add, that goes down to the bottom. I want to move this up, so I've selected it, and I can use the Up button. And for this field set, maybe I don't need to have the bell. I don't necessarily need to have um, the home phone and their address and all that kind of stuff. But I want to add in their usual names. So again, that's on the left hand side. Scroll down until you find your use. There's usual name. This is called the concatenated usual name. It's legal comma first. They've been put together, concatenation. Uh, but if I want to have a different field for a first name and a different field for the last name, I can just select by hitting shift and clicking and I can add those over onto that side. I can move them up if I want to. Move that one up. You can select a bunch and move them up and down at the same time too. So the, the way this is going to look, this will be their legal name, their usuals, their alerts, gender, pupil, Aboriginal ancestry, and a bunch of other information. Again, you could select these things and hit remove if you don't want to see it in your columns. So let's say I'm happy with this. Hit save takes you back to this window. Use the close button to close it. This will refresh this page. And after it's refreshed, you check your list. Your new one will be in your list wherever you've put it. I can click on this. And this will show a new column for Aboriginal Ancestry. Here it is. And then you can sort by this column by clicking on it once. If you want to reverse the sort order, you click on it a second time because it's sorted blank first. Click on it a second time. And then there's my sort order. From here, I can go through page by page until I find all of my Aboriginal Ancestry students. They're not blank. I can click through the pages, select all, keep going like this until you've selected everybody, until you get to a page that has some blanks in it. Oops, I forgot to click on that one. Let's go back. Check. Next page, check, keep going, and there's my last three. 
If there's only three down here that weren't checked, you could select everything and uncheck the bottom three. Um, wasn't the case in this one, so I'll just check these three. And then you can go Options, Show Selected, and this will show me all of my 183 students with an Aboriginal ancestry. And then from here, you could go on and do a snapshot. So you have a snapshot in time of your ABED students right now. So that's an example that shows you how to make a custom field set and specifically how to add in the Aboriginal ancestry field.